Hi, it's David Freitas here from Mazda3Carpet.com. Just uh, wanted to follow up on some of the emails we've received uh, in the past few days uh, with some of your questions as it relates to the 2010 Mazda 3s and the carpets that are supplied inside of them. Uh, I want to thank everybody for your replies. They were very informative. Um, I hope we do, were able to do it justice and give you some of the answers you're looking for. Uh, I would have to say of all of the questions that we received, the one that was pretty common amongst uh, uh, amongst them all was uh, why does Mazda use this kind of carpeting if they know it's cheap and um, you know sort of ruins the luster of the, the Mazda 3. Uh, it's a great question. Um, you know, I can answer that one pretty straightforwardly. I, I used to work a couple years back as a contractor at the Chrysler assembly plant where they build the Challengers and the 300s and the Chargers and got to spend a lot of time um, w looking at the assembly line and watching how things worked and how they operated and even got to speak to some of the engineers as to how and why certain things are designed the way they are. And when it comes down to the factory level, the number one concern they got is obviously quality but is also um, pumping out those vehicles, getting things installed. And it doesn't matter if it's a Chrysler plant, uh, a Honda plant, a BMW plant. Uh, it doesn't matter wh where in the world the, the quote is the same. They've got to move cars. They've got to produce cars. So certain parts, when they're designed and suppliers chosen, it's actually to aid in the efficiency of, assemb of final assembly in producing that vehicle and getting it to the end of the assembly line. Uh, one of the pictures I have here to show you uh, is a great illustration as to why. Um, give me one second here as I just bring this up. Nope, that's not it. Here we go. This is actually from a report on uh, interior textiles to the OEM manufacturer, OEM industry. And what you see here is an actual employee from Ryder Automotive Systems out of Switzerland who's measuring the airflow resistance of a carpet, of a Ryder carpet system. Um, the reason I chose this one is it's a great illustration is to see how and why uh, the carpeting looks, sorry, how the carpeting looks, why it's shaped the way it is. And you can see in the background there, you actually see a Volvo uh, V40, which uh, shares the platform with the European Ford Focus, and most importantly, our Mazda 3s. Um, so this is it right here. And you'll actually notice it's, it's a very tightly knit system. It's very rigid. In fact, the material itself, you could pick it up with a, you know, two hands, hold it up in the air, and it's a fairly rigid flooring system. And there's a purpose for that, for that design. It's got nothing to do with comfort. It's got nothing to do with uh, uh, luxury. It's got everything to do with ease of installation. And that's about it. Uh, the material that they use here is actually a non-woven uh, recycled material, PET, which is a uh, plastic. Uh, the best way to describe this is think of non-woven material as sort of like fiberglass, uh, only not as hard because there's no resin in this that makes it that hard. But it's just a bunch of materials that are sort of blown together and with a resin sort of held together. Uh, the reason the manufacturers like this is because they can do these, these killer curves and stuff using it and have little repercussion. Uh, also, be, It also aids in creating a semi-rigid rigid structure that when they're assembling a vehicle on an assembly line that's no, always moving and never stops, it allows the, the auto worker to turn around, pick it up off of the parts bin, circle around, insert it into the vehicle, and get it installed within a matter of seconds. I kid you not, folks, a matter of seconds. And just to give you a great illustration here as to what that looks like, I was able to dig into YouTube and found a great video here that shows you a typical assembly line. And you're going to see this woman here installing brake lines on a golf. Uh, this is, you'll see here is the assembly line never stops moving. The parts um, are all distributed and the tools are all distributed along that assembly line so that when that vehicle gets there to that appropriate spot, it's time to install that one uh, new part.
can actually see she's tightening these bolts and moving at the same time. It's a non-stop job. Here's a great here's a great example here. I fast forwarded a little too quick. Here's these guys throwing in a headliner. And you see the vehicle is constantly moving. It never stops. So just to give you sort of an idea of what to expect uh, when you've got, you know, as to why they choose this material, the semi-rigid nature of the material actually helps in easing the of ease of installation by the being able to grab the carpeting and throw it inside. Now, oddly enough, that material there that you see is the same material that is actually used to manufacture. Um, I don't have it here. Um, to manufacture uh, air filters for for the vehicles so that's one of the reasons that people sometimes complain with the older Mazdas about a musty smell in the vehicle that comes from the carpet it's simply because that when water gets into that carpet it actually does a very good job of trapping it um, you know the upside for the manufacturer for um, for the carpets like this is that it allows um, the company to obviously have a lightweight inexpensive material that can easily be molded and fitted for production purposes can be installed in a matter of seconds and looks um, un good enough to pass that initial inspection of the customer when they come to view the car pick up the car and take delivery of it um, they're not looking for extremely long wear and durability from it they're certainly not looking for ease of cleaning which is the number one complaint that I get from Mazda 3 owners about their previous carpet systems in, the, in their cars is that it's almost next to impossible to keep clean with a vacuum cleaner or any other method because dirt gets trapped in those fibers so well. I know that I got one here that was uh, well this one's from Paul here it's just hi Dave I guess my only real question would be on availability and price I've seen the reviews and actually had a chat with a detailer that has worked on a car with your carpet and he loved it thanks Paul uh, great as far as availability and price we're gonna have something for you this week we're probably gonna open it up um, if not to Wednesday night or sorry Thursday night it's going to be Friday um, look for it we're definitely gonna be sending off an email letting you know about this as far as the price is gonna be um, it, I got great news it's not gonna be more expensive than the 2004 to 2009 Mazda 3 carpet kits so and we're actually gonna we're debating on a an actual sale price um, a pre-launch sales price for people who've subscribed to uh, to these uh, emails from us uh, they're gonna get a special offer that nobody else has so that includes everybody who's listening to this right now um, another email that I had here was from David Kagawa pardon me if I didn't pronounce your name properly uh, my last name's Freitas. Gets mucked up all the time. Uh, how much better is your carpet than the stock carpet? And how easy it is it for you to uh, do it yourself for to install? You know what? Those are great questions, and I'm going to answer that one actually in our next email that uh, I send off to you in the next uh, by tomorrow morning. Anyways, I hope uh, you guys enjoyed this and found it informative. Once again, I'd love to hear your comments. You could send them to David at Mazda3Carpet.com. And uh, if I can answer them, I will certainly make it available. Anyways, talk to you soon.